the point is, we just want to make the project attractive, bottom line. We just want to make it attractive and upscale and luxury. Is there any more questions or comments of the council? I've got one. Okay. Uh, the nature of this decision is not one of judgment, but it's administrative. And unfortunately, our individual personal opinions on this do not matter. Only what meets the current standards and what our family and what our city has in place. Do our development standards need to be reevaluated? No question. And some of that's being addressed tonight. Over the years, when we have, when some of us have addressed the issues of increasing building and development standards, there has been some pushback on the other side, saying that we're not being business friendly. And as a community, we need to be citizen friendly, and clearly, many in our community, as expressed tonight, want our standards to change. However, right. with the current issue, our hands are tied. Even if we could change all the development standards tonight throughout the entire city, we cannot change the zoning of this property. It is still zoned for apartments. It is not fair to make all of our citizens pay for a lawsuit that we just cannot win. We have to follow the law. This would make us poor stewards of the taxpayers' money. I am so sorry if any people in this room were ever misled in any way about the zoning of this property or what that entails or what that means. I think this issue also shows just how important long-term strategic planning is. Every city is expected to provide basic service like garbage pickup and police service. And there is no question that Sherwood absolutely excels at this. However, a great city does these things but also has a strong strategic plan and a clear vision for the future. This is an issue, this issue is a clear example of what happens when we don't have that. And I think what has been very clear tonight is that we have to look at all the elements far more closely in our city. Not only now, but what we'll look like 10 years from now and 20 years from now and 30 years from now as it pertains to transportation <coughs> and drainage and sidewalks and trails and all of it and how it works together. There's no question that we, as a city, have not done what we should have done in terms of that. No question. So people need to be voted I will office. say that I hope that this is the beginning election. of our citizens realizing that you do deserve more and Sherwood deserves more. And we've got to do more and to address so many of our development standards and our planning, whether streets that need to go through or drainage or so forth. But I want you all to know, on this matter, we're sworn to uphold the laws. We have to follow the law. So I'm, I'm sorry for you all in, in, ter in terms of that. I'll do more questions and comments.